Lymphatic and lymphedema surgeries are becoming more widely available around the United States and around the world to treat lymphedema and chronic swelling. What is recovery like from these surgeries and what may someone need to do to maximize the outcomes? My name is Kelly. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist. Today in this video, I'm going to share the details on the best recovery outcomes I see daily in the clinic and what individuals are doing who have the best results years later. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or check out my website for more related content. In a past video, I spoke about the three most widely used surgeries, which I will link above to check out if you're interested. But we're going to base this on those three surgeries. There are many different versions and each surgeon has his or her own technique and protocol before, during, and after surgery. So the best way to learn specific details and also any personalized medical advice would be to meet with a surgeon who does these surgeries. They are often referred to now as a super microsurgeon because of these very detailed procedures. Before surgery, many surgeons would like an individual to receive complete decongestive therapy with a certified lymphedema therapist for about two or three weeks, which includes compression bandaging, lymphatic drainage, skin care, exercise, and more. The goal of this is to reduce as much volume and fluid as possible in the arm or the leg to help with surgical outcomes and make for a more optimal surgery procedure. At this time, pre surgical limb volume measurements are also likely taken to get some pre and post measurements in the long term. At some locations, such as in Italy, this is done in an inpatient setting where a person has traveled to stay at this location, while often in places around the US, it's done locally with a lymphedema therapist before they end up traveling to get their surgery. So again, it just may vary person to person. But let's talk about what ideally happens after surgery. Again, this is going to vary slightly based on the surgeon's protocols, but they are generally very similar and this will give someone an idea. For a suction assisted lipectomy surgery, compression garments or bandages are put on the arm or the leg immediately after surgery. They will then stay on, but need to be reapplied for about four to six weeks, sometimes maybe also up to eight weeks, but while being monitored for skin healing and incisions and reduction of that volume and that swelling after surgery. Lymphatic drainage is also done during these weeks after to assist with fluid reduction after surgery. This may be done by a certified lymphedema therapist, but should also be done daily by an individual or a family member as able. After the four to eight weeks and the swelling has come down and leveled out, then someone is measured for new compression garments to order, and then you'll wear these long-term for management of that lymphedema and to maintain that reduction that was provided by the surgery. As stated in the other video that I talked about before, it's, this surgery is used to get rid of that solid, thick component um, that happens with long-term changes caused by lymphedema. It doesn't fix the specific lymphatic vessel issue or system issue, so lymphedema is still present, just not as severe. So let's talk about the lymphovenous anastomosis recovery or LVA recovery. Compression is applied to the leg or the arm immediately after surgery as well. Some surgeons suggest using compression garments after, while others choose to use bandaging after. It will vary, but this will also last about four to six weeks before the garments or the arm or the leg are measured for new garments to then wear long term. Lymphatic drainage is done as well, and it's important to avoid the incision areas during this time. So a good rule of thumb is to stay about two inches away from each incision for about three weeks or so or until those incisions are fully healed. For activity, it should be kept light and avoid straining, lifting heavy, or any vigorous activity. 
elevation of the limb, the arm or the leg is used as much as possible with some being really strict with the protocols and only you're only able to get up for, you know, about 10 minutes at a time every hour. And while others, it may just be that you're able to get up for 10 to 15 minutes, about four to five times throughout the day. So it's important with this recovery to have books an iPad and other things ready to go before surgery to keep you busy while you recover for that extended period of time. The surgeon will clear someone to return to normal activity. And this is typically around the six week mark. And lastly, let's briefly talk about a recovery from a vascularized lymph node transfer or VLNT. This surgery recovery is a bit different than the other two I spoke about because after this surgery, there is no compression placed on that VLNT site for a couple of weeks at least. Lymphatic drainage is often cleared to do, but again, someone must stay away, you know, multiple inches from this site for about six weeks or so. The same lifting restrictions apply for the first six weeks as they do for the LVA, but walking around may be encouraged more. It just varies person to person. So however, though, the difference from the LVA into this one is that with the VLNT, they don't want any stretching or straining into various positions um, because that can cause stress to that transfer site. And so like others, they may have activity restrictions for lifting um, and those restrictions may linger on or stick around for about six to eight weeks, depending on each surgeon's protocol. Now, throughout this process, it's important to follow your surgeon's protocols and work with a certified lymphedema therapist that has experience with surgeries to achieve the maximal results and outcomes from the surgery. Working closely with your medical team can also help monitor for any adverse effects or issues like skin infections or non-healing areas. It's going to vary person to person, but over time, this recovery can take a year or even longer. And so some people just need to be patient with how long it takes for that volume to reduce, the lymphatic system to improve, and then for some may be able to wean out of their compression garments and the things that they do day to day for cares. So that's the information on recovery and prep for lymphedema surgeries. Again, it will vary based on the surgeon and also based on the surgery, but that's a general overview. For more content and related to lymphedema and treatment, be sure to subscribe down below and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.